In tonight's KX Conversation, we're taking a look at making liquor in North Dakota. Yeah, it's very popular nowadays to brew up your own home brew, but just how popular is making alcohol here in North Dakota? For much more on this, we've invited Scott Byerly, the owner of Big Dog Distillery, to our studio to break it all down for us. Scott, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, first, when it comes to making liquor in North Dakota, are there any specific laws that you need to follow? Yes, they have a specific guidelines for wineries and distilleries of products and products that you can use, and di it includes distribution and how it can be distributed and quantities that can be distributed without moving to different aspects from micro distillers to an actual manufacturing type of, dis of, of operation, I guess we would say. And for your rum and moonshine, are your ingredients from North Dakota? Our moonshine is 100% from North Dakota, and our, our uh, rum ingredients has a, a good chunk of North Dakota ingredients in it, too. What makes it so special other than that? Um, it's the way it's distilled, and it's the way it's fermented. When you get to uh, larger quantities, we've continued to grow from a small quantity and use the same formulation to grow it into bigger quantities. Mm -hmm. And in the type of uh, distillation process, it's a pot still versus a column still, which makes manufacturing uh, large quantities of liquor real easy. Pot distills a little, little smaller and a little more handcrafted. Okay. Are there quite a few distilleries here in North Dakota? You know, there's a lot of backwoods and, uh, you know, garage-type distilleries, I want to say. When we actually get out there, everybody's got one, it seems like, in their garage. But um, Fargo has one. We've got one up outside of Grand Forks. And um, a uh, actual distillery was another one down in, uh, outside of Fargo, but they have now swapped to wine only. So really, uh, there's probably around four of us in the state, two of us, three of us actually, one in Bismarck here also. The three of us are kind of doing the majority of what's out there. And which states can you sell to right now? We are able to sell direct ship in North Dakota and <coughs> uh, 11 other states that the post office will at this point let you sell to in certain quantities, of course, and it differs between every state. There's also a bill that's up in front of the, um, the federal government to allow that to more conform to the wine standards where you can ship wine to just about anywhere. You know, there's a few uh, states that are still withheld from that. So they're running that through the, the mill, so to speak, to see that we can kind of follow their lead and ship to just about anywhere. But as a, as a whole for us, um, we've picked up a distributor, and I believe he's in 40 states right now. Mm -hmm. So what got you interested in this? Uh, you know, uh, I guess it was more or less a whim. Um, it was a guess, a dare from my wife. She said, you better find something else to do. You drive me nuts. So that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There True you go. story. You have her to bank then. Yes. <laughs> and if someone were to buy, you know, going to the store this holiday season and they want to go for X rum or Z rum, why should they try your guys' uh, liquor? Well, ours is a little bit different than everybody else's. Ours is still a craft distilled, which means it's a small batch, single run. Uh, our else is, everything else we have is 100% natural. Everything starts with a silver rum, but if you're drinking a spiced rum, it's actually our silver rum infused with natural spices. Coconut is infused with natural coconut. There's no artificial colors, flavors, any sugar added. Nothing is added of any kind that's artificial to it. So you will definitely taste the difference, and you'll also be missing that little bit of bite and that little bit of alcohol burn that some people, some people like and some people don't. For the majority, just don't, though. Sure. <laughs> Scott, thank you once again for being here with us. Well, thank you very much for having me.